Hello and welcome to the first part of the video manual of EA3. This video is a co-production between Forex Place and EA3 software. First of all we answer the question what is an EA? EA stands for Expert Advisor and it is an MQL based program for automatic trading in MetaTrader 4 and 5. It can be used for fully automated trading and half automated trading. Now we play a little game called An EA Is and we discuss some basic facts about expert advisors. An expert advisor is a serious tool. You all know the websites on the internet selling ready to use EAs. They are telling you never work a day again, enjoy your life, no experience needed and you see pictures on these sites with people with m money in one hand and a cigar in the other hand and in the background you see a beautiful castle or a beach. That's all nice, but, that, but that's not true. An EA is a serious tool, so it is not a money printing machine, as these websites are telling you, and it does not make you expendable as a trader. You have to update your EA from time to time. After a trading day or a trading week, you have to review the trades the EA has done and ask yourself the question, what should have been better? How can I change the habits of my EA to prevent these losing trades in the future? So you always have to work on it. And this is the reason why you also have to know about technical and fundamental analysis, especially technical analysis. You need to have a trading strategy in place first to feed the program with it. And that's why you have to know how this market works. But it also can help you to switch off the human factor in trading. Maybe you have problems in executing at the right times, fear to open a position, or you're not patient enough to wait for the perfect entry. An EA can help you to follow your strategy mechanically. So what is EA3? EA3 provides you with a graphical user interface to create expert advisors. There's no need to have any programming experience. But as I said before, you need some experience with the market. You don't have to share your ideas with the programmer. Let's say you have a good trading strategy but you're not able to code MQL. A lot of traders are afraid of that. With EA3 you can make the EA by yourself and you don't have to tell anybody about it. Your learning time decreases from, from months into hours. To learn a MQL it takes a very long time. With EA3 you can learn to handle this application within hours or maybe days. You can easily integrate your EA into MetaTrader and correct the code at any time. Now we're looking at EA3's user interface. Here we have the text menu. You can access indicators, custom indicators, time series functions and so on. And the most important functions are accessible using these graphical buttons here. Here this black field is the so-called desk. On this desk we built our expert advisor. Now we are looking at some basic concepts in using EA3. We are building our expert advisor with boxes and buttons. This is how they look like. They are containing mathematical functions, technical indicators and so on. Each box has input buttons and output buttons. The input buttons are on the left side of each box and the output buttons on the right side. In this example we only have one output button but we al also can have two or maybe four. If we double click on the box we are getting this here. Here we can change the data type by clicking here and we can choose. This is this button value and we also have functions for new variable name and add to EA input variables but this is too advanced for now. Connections. We need to connect our boxes to each other. Output buttons of one box can be connected to input buttons of another box. They have to have the same data types like double, int or string. To connect two boxes we click on the output buttons button of one box drag this line to the input button and release the mouse button and the connection is made. Now we are ready to make our first simple EA and we are starting the EA3 application. This first simple EA is a MACD based expert advisor by condition if MACD line 
is larger than its signal at previous bar and cell condition if MACD main indicator line is smaller than its signal at previous bar. And we're starting by using this button here to open the so-called trade box. We are moving it on the right side of the screen and we are making a MACD based expert advisor so we need MACD indicator MACD and here it is the MACD box. Then we need another box the the if condition box here if and this condition box is opening. Now now we have to connect these boxes. M1 to A. This means this, that in this if condition A represents M1, the M1 signal line, the M1, the main indicator line of MACD. In between here, between A and B, we have operation. And here we have the greater than sign. And now we are connecting S1 to B, so B represents the signal line. If M1 is greater than S1, if A is greater than B, if it is true, we open long. If it is false, we open short. And that's our first EA. And you can see if I move these boxes, the connection stays in place. And now we can press File and Save as MQL4 EA. And then we can integrate our expert advisor into MetaTrader.